After a week off, number six Clay County will welcome North Laurel to Tiger Stadium. Tigers will not want to stub their toe like they did last year, going 0 for 5 in district play, including a 33 to 8 loss to the Jaguars last year. Obviously, this Clay County team is much improved over last year, and you can thank the offense. John Wilson has 10 touchdown passes, five of which are to J.B. Hooker. Injuries took the bite out of the Clay County Tigers last year, leading to an 0-5 district record. But they appear healthy this season, and ready to host North Laurel on a district tilt at Tiger Stadium. Clay County looking to avenge a 33-8 loss to North Laurel last season. The Tigers came out ready to play from the first whistle. The handoff goes to Noah Reed. He gets some blocks, makes some tacklers miss, and he won't stop running until he finds the end zone 74 yards later. It is six to nothing, Clay County Tigers. Clay County's defense was looking great tonight. Johnny Fugit back to pass, tosses it, picked off by Tanner Gilbert. Gilbert would bring it back to the 22. That would lead to another touchdown. Gilbert had a big game. He's a big time player. Yeah, college is gonna be calling him. This looks like a replay, but it isn't. Fugit picked off by Reed on the next drive. He'll bring it back for the pick six. 20 to nothing Tigers in the first quarter. Reed had a nice game. Everyone knows that John Wilson is a dangerous passer, but be warned he can tuck and under and run as well. Here he shows some nifty moves. Gonna make a couple guys miss, gonna cut it to the outside. Whoop, right there, that was a nice one. And he's gonna make a dive for the pylon here. Gonna touch the ball with the pylon, but he's called out of the three. That's a good call by the ref. Right on that, I looked again, good call. That sets up this short touchdown run by Noah Reed. And that makes the cannon go. Boom. That's a tiny cannon. Yes, but it's powerful. Check out the strong run from CJ Miller. He trucks a DB right here. Boom. That's what happens when a tornado meets a volcano. Miller finishes off the drive with the one yard touchdown plunge over the defensive line. That allows my man Jason Root to fire the cannon once again, Clay County's biggest fan. We go to the scoreboard. Clay County rolls to the 48 to nothing win. No read, 150 yards rushing and four touchdowns on six carries. He also had a 45 yard interception return touchdown we saw in the highlights. Now it's time for the Gondolier Go for the Goal Line Award and we head to Clay County for this one. John Wilson, the quarterback, on the move. Going to take it down the sideline, get pushed. He's going to lunge for the pylon. He actually steps out at the three, hits the pylon. You know what? It's not a touchdown, but we love his effort going for the goal line. That truly is going for the goal line at its finest. Congratulations to John Wilson of Clay County. This week's Gondolier Go for the Goal Line winner.